Great game. Hey, coach. talk to you about what's going on with Othello. What do you mean? Word travels fast in this business. <laughs> so you want to give me a pep talk? Sorry your life's going down the toilet. Hang in there, kiddo. Not exactly. But I'll tell you one thing, you're not going to accomplish anything by feeling sorry for yourself. Life's not fair. So what? Get over it. You know, you have a very interesting bedside manner, might I add. I'm not your best friend, MP. I'm not here to coddle your ego. I'm here to put the best team possible on the floor, and I can't do that if you get shipped out because you gave up. Who said I'm giving up? I'm not allowed to be upset? You're allowed to be upset. But you need to channel that energy in a positive way. Play like your life depends on it and make it impossible for Othello to trade you. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. All right, look. I'm only going to say this once, so listen up. I've been in this game a long time. I didn't get to where I'm at by playing games. When, when you're where you're at, there's a temptation to try to play things out in the press. All right, well, that might work for the top 1% of players in the league. But for everybody else, it backfires. I'm not saying you don't have that kind of talent, but it's too early in your career to pull that kind of power play. All you can do is produce, and I can help you produce. You just got to trust me. Coach, I trust you. I just don't think I'm good enough. I mean, right now, I feel like my only choice is to get my hands dirty. That's not who you are, MP. No disrespect, Coach, but how do you know that? I'm only 21 years old. I don't even know who I am yet. Not fully. How do you know that's not me? Look, I can't tell you what to do. You're your own person, and you got to make your own decisions. All I can do is give you my perspective. What you do with it? That's up to you. I can respect that. And I promise you, if you do this the right way, I'll do everything in my power to help you to succeed. But if you want any help with the other way, I can't do anything for you. <sighs> I, I hear you, coach. That's totally fair. Good. Now go out there and prove Othello wrong. From our first three seasons, your favorite play was Zapie 2 in the wreck. Using the ball fake, but accepting no substitutions. This finishing move on one, two, three defenders. Ring that bell. This could be your new champion. With the regular season just getting started, it's like the rookies, Greg, who are beginning these new pro careers. But let me tell you, Kevin, the speed of the pro game is startling. If things are happening so fast, it can take years for the game to slow down. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. The talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Middleton finds Giannis. Middleton looking it over. Allen for three. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Now Jones, looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. To the paint. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And good that time. Yeah, I'm looking over at the coaching staff, smiles on their face. That's what they want. Holiday very skilled at getting to that spot and hitting a J. 
Here's Sohan. Jones the pass to Collins. Starts against Allen. Bucks. Something that stands out about the Bucks is their versatility in their offensive package. They use penetration, they shoot the three. You know, whatever it takes to beat a good defense. First free throw is good. And Brent, what would you say is the secret to the Bucks' deep offensive arsenal? Well, it's a variety of talents that they have on the floor. There's just a combination of guys who want to move the ball, want to move their bodies, and then you get the ball to Giannis and you get out of the way. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're getting their first look of the season at San Antonio in this one. And really, this is a team that expects to beat everyone when they step on the floor, but they were only able to split the series last year. And they don't want a repeat of what happened last year here. They know this is an opponent they can handle, and they don't want to give away anything like they did last year. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game, just a matter who can catch that momentum. Here's Sohan. D by Lopez. Milwaukee has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. And under the Kumbo gets it to go. Now they can't miss four for four and warming up the burner. Pass to Collins. Back to Jones. And he converts the layup. And a nice job here early here of establishing an inside presence. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Now here's Allen. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Both teams deciding to change it up. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. A three-pointer, no good. Milwaukee leading by four. Brent, when we talk about the evolution of basketball, Brooke Lopez is a great example. Well, this is one of the more head-scratching, remarkable, complimentary things that you could say about Brook Lopez. The fact that he did not make a three-pointer until his seventh season in the NBA, but added that long range to his game to become a stretch five and a valuable piece to the Bucks' 2021 title run. What an amazing career arc for one Brook Lopez. Here's Crowder after the made shot from Starks. Here's Lopez. Got a hand on it. Johnson against Middleton. Johnson, the pass to Starks. Good, and it's Johnson with the assist that time. Starks has got eight points. 111 left in the first quarter. Carter outside. Back to Middleton. Carter looking around. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Three seconds. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Vassell, he's checked in for the Spurs. The box also changing it up. Joe Ingles comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Allen. Here's Bassett. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Here's Carter. Starks with the rebound. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. To the wing on the left. Graham. They get it back. And the basket by Starks. Ten points for him. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Carter on the wing. Graham defending. Here's Lopez. And he buries that one, trailing the rim on the way down. Well, over time, the game has changed, and there's some new wrinkles to Lopez's game. 
and that introduction of space is helping out this offense. And so the first quarter comes to a close. Both teams scoring well, but it's all tied up. The Bucks, 14. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And take a look at San Antonio's performance here. What do you think they've been doing or not doing? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second, Holiday leads the backcourt with Connaughton by his side. On to Jacoba, out there with Joe Ingles. And it's Crowder, and it's up. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. you got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agree. Thanks, David. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Rockets comes in for Pat Connaughton. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Spurs? A, a lot of high motor play from them in this one. A allowing them to kind of charge through the defense and find good looks. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. You know, Greg, we know to win at the highest level, you need your star players to show up in the big game. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him on a rhythm. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. To the inside, Dragic. The shot comes out. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Yeah, in that game, the offense was firing on all cylinders, partly because the other team's defense was a no-show. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Powder kicks to Middleton. And shot opportunity. Birch grabs the board. And it's Jones with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. To the middle. Starts against Helen. Passes to Birch. Stolen by Middleton. And Dragic hands it in the corner. Hands it from downtown. Dragic has got five points now in the quarter. Well, the ball was not in Goran Dragic's hands very long. Just a great job by him firing it up immediately without hesitation. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And Brent, how about what Chris Middleton... And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Spurs leading by five. And... 30. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. What can you say, Mr. Clutch, an impressive effort here today? Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Now this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. We've got Johnson. Jones is out there with Stokes. Then it's Collins. And it's Zohan in at the four. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. The pass to Lopez. Beyond the arc. Offensive rebound. Whistle blows. Basket is good. 
So a chance here for a three-point play. Well, not only being just an all-around more improved player, Giannis has taken some huge strides in terms of building his body up. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Something you have to remember about Rivale. He, he was a key player in helping the Bucks win their historic title in 2021. Uh, he was unbelievable in that entire postseason. Started every game, averaged 17 points, was going to take on the, the toughest guard opposing player and uh, accept that challenge for every series and took them to the title. And finish off by Collins. Pretty nice show of athleticism as Zach Collins rises up. Out of the combo, kicks to Middleton. Jones against Holiday. Here's Giannis. And he finishes nicely yes. on the way. The Kumpo. On to the Kumpo. He's got five points now this quarter. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. Allen outside. Down low, here's Middleton. Here's Antetokounmpo, and the yes, slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. I don't know where the shoulder starts and the arms end for Giannis, but it makes him dangerous on the offensive glass. It has to Collins, and Collins gets double teamed. Zoham, the pass to Starks. Rebound, Milwaukee. Giannis kicks to Middleton. Jones against Holiday. For the tie, Collins with some nice D. The Spurs have gone 3 of 5 to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Lopez with the steal. And now, here comes Antetokounmpo leading the break. That ties it up. Antetokounmpo has got nine points here in the second half. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday. Substitution of court. Holiday kicks to Crowder. Pass to Holiday. Five on the clock. Let's it go. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. You know, Greg, you can make the case. Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And, you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked. Just one all-star game. But Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. Jake Crowder out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Middleton in at the three, the small forward. Here's Starks. And he stays with it. Outside, Jones. Second chance shot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Jay Crowder. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. I like seeing Johnson getting after it, taking on all comers and drawing the whistle. And that one falls for Johnson. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Crowder. And both free throws, good for Johnson. Bucks trail by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Back to Holiday. 
No good. Shot missing. And the Spurs going the other way now. And Jones has it in the corner. Pass to Collins. Back to Starks. And it's good off the glass. Starks has got the lead up to seven now for the Spurs. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Holiday finds Antetokounmpo. Outside Holiday. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And the pass to Jones. Inside. Starts against Allen. And it starts that time on the assist by Jones. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit chat with the team to settle down. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Brooke Lopez. And he's put on a terrific show of skill in the paint. A combination of moves, footwork, and that soft touch down low. It's all added up to one dominant performance for the big fella. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Boldenholzer told his team during that timeout. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. And we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for Milwaukee. Seven-point differential. Drives to the hoop over Jones. Holiday gets the bucket. And you have to love how Holiday came up big with the shot. That's the kind of leadership you want to see from him. Here's Starks. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. Allen, that's good. Fundamental play there from Lopez, spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Pass to Sohan. Right side, Jones. Pass to Starks. Spurs passing it around. It's good. Now there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Here's Giannis. Starks with the rebound. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Here's Sohan. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And I think they realize any hope of a comeback is gone. Well, realistic at this stage of the game, they're going to lose this one. But will they take something from the loss? Well, Milton proving again how clutch he is for this basketball team. Big shot there. And now we've got the intentional foul. 14 foul. At the line for San Antonio. Trey Jones. He drops the first one and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven point game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter and they can add to your lead. Timeout called the Bucks. They're down by seven. There's 25 seconds left to play in the final quarter.
there's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. And that's what you want your leaders to do. Giannis stepping up in a big way. And an intentional foul right there. Second personal foul. Fifth team foul. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. He's able to hit the second one, and that increases their lead to six. Can't waste any time here. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-ups. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups, so maybe just a step too far. So the first one drops, and then... And so it's San Antonio with the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, just effective in terms of coming away with this win. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you later.